Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, the focus is going to be on the color sorter. It's a really cool project for those of you working with the EB3. It's a great project to be in classrooms, just a great project to build. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the finished product. I'm going to show you what you can do to modify it to make it very fun and be able to connect the color sorter to possibly a real world situation. And then definitely, I always like to go over the cables because a lot of times students put those cables in wrong. So I'll let you know where those cables go and then let you see this thing in action. So if you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So the color sorter is one of the four core projects for the EV3 kit. There's the gyro boy. There is the robot arm. And then there's the puppy, and then the color sorter rounds that all out. And then definitely there's the other kind of expansion or side projects. I'll leave you the link to where you can find the color sorter, but if you're using different programming, you'll have to figure out your own programming for this. But the color sorter is really cool because students get a chance to see, ah, oh, that color sorter can recognize colors and activate some type of sorting system here with the robot. So today, I, like I said, I'm gonna show you where the cables go, how it works, and a really cool modification that we did with some Starburst candy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the color sorter. Okay, everybody, there it is. There is the color sorter. So let's go ahead and let's quickly talk about how this works. We'll go to the cables and then we'll see this thing in action. So you'll manually scan in your colors. There, there's little colored three hole beam pieces that you scan in. And as soon as you scan it in, it drops it into the sorter. And then once you either press the middle button or it, you reach the capacity of the sorter, it will sort the pieces from blue, green, yellow, and red. So to start off, uh, a lot of these sensors are gonna be standard, like they always go into the same ones. So, Actually, you know what, let's start, since I turned this, let's start with your motors. So um, this motor D, so motor D is gonna be this large motor right down here. And what we do is we thread the cable this way because in the instructions it has the cable going through the track and we're like, why would you do that for? So thread it on the outside, that way this cable doesn't get into the way of the track pieces. So that large motor goes into D, and then the other motor is your medium motor right here, and that one always goes into A, okay? And then let's go into your sensors. Sensors can get tricky sometimes. So the touch always goes into one, so I know it's kind of hard to see there. The touch goes into one, and the color uh, sensor always goes into three. That's usually the default or standard directions there. And that is it. That's all the motors and sensors involved with this color sorter. So let's go ahead now and see it in action. Okay, so when you start the program, you'll see an arrow. And that arrow basically means it is time to scan colors in. So we're going to go ahead and scan these in. I tell my students, be careful not to put your finger over the color sensor because it will detect your finger as red. No joke, it does. And so I just don't want them to get a bad reading on this, on the colors. They love scanning it in because it makes them feel like they're at the supermarket. Does anybody say supermarket anymore? And then we get the last one in there and this should activate by itself. Whoops, missed that one. Wow, this thing's shooting way over there. And there we go, two in each container. So you just have to kind of figure out where the pieces are gonna fall. Uh, but check this out. Um, I had the students use, uh, I just went to the store and got some Starburst I wish they had different color Starbursts that you know had the primary colors. But check this out when my students used uh, Starburst in their color sorter. Oh, 
now it works. Yeah. Okay, guys, so that is an amazing robot. My students are always captivated, and no offense to the robot arm, but they seem to be more enamored or just, you know, blown away by the ability for it to sort those colors. Um, one little heads up for some of you. I had some students where it was recognizing, you know, blue as green or green as blue and mixing up the red and yellows. If you have that problem, I would suggest changing out the color um, sensor. What we did is we changed out the color sensor and it actually worked perfectly. So if you ever run across that problem where it's mixing up the colors, I would say, number one, try to get like some type of wipe and clean the lens of the color sensor. If not, just change it out because it's really easy to change out that color sensor, okay? All right, guys, hopefully you like the color sorter. I am Mr. Hino from Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys, take care.